Sean here. Um, before I take pictures of all this, I just want to give you kind of an overview. And if anything is, oh dear. Yeah, and I think a lot of these were the ones that were already done. So if there's anything that you need more pictures of or that I missed, um, we can take care of that. Um, oh my gosh, Josh, who's the guy who worked on this, he's ready to do any alterations that are needed. So just, um, you know, let us know, give us your feedback. Everything's fine. Okay, and I apologize for the delay, but you know, I'm cat herding 12 artists and you know, just getting things through the best that I can. So anyway, um, yeah, you've got uh, the stegodon here. You're gonna see some minor repairs that need to be done. You know, just, um, I don't know how it happens really, but it's easy enough to get some plastic glue in there and it'll actually fuse this, fuse this straight. This guy's missing like a spear tip. It's all very minor stuff. So anyway, you've got uh, this stegodon here. A little magnetized point up top. This um, troglodon. Uh, I've already got some still pics taken. I'm taking quite a few of each thing. He needs his back banner reattached and touched up. That's actually right here. Uh, I do believe these were done by the other artist. So there's those two stegodons. And uh, here's Teto Echo. And um, Saurus Rider. Chakox, a priest. Here's three random skinks, and um, a couple of them have magnets in the bottom of their feet. These, this guy right here, and this guy right here. And uh, I do believe those correspond to little magnets in these uh, decorative bases. You've got two mount-ups here for, uh, you can only imagine this uh, Stegodon here. They just go on. Very nicely done. He has a little magnet in his arm. And there's a couple of magnetized arms here. I'm pretty sure that's one of them. I don't know where that goes to. This actually goes to the Carnosaur over here. So he's got these four different uh, things. In fact, why don't we get this shield on him just because I'm about to take pictures of him. Um, and you know what? It may not go on right away because there's like a certain way that it fits. Okay, so anyway, uh, the Bastilladon, and that has the two magnetized options on it for the Arc of Sotek and the uh, Light Ray option. I can't remember what that's called offhand. Um, this guy has a magnetized arm. And, um, you know, I don't know, but maybe, I'll bet you this arm would fit on him too. Look at that. Doesn't that look handsome? So that, that's a nice option for him, I think. <clears throat> Your two salon, of course. Very handsome if you ask me. Oh my goodness. Here's a back banner. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, that is magnetized actually. But that does need to get uh that does need to get touched up because um the magnets are, are showing. So this is all stuff that'll get once overed. Uh a hero there, another one down here. That might just be one of the regular riders. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've covered everything. Here's kind of an overview. So I'm going to do the repairs, take the pictures, uh, probably not in that order necessarily. And, um, you know, certainly glad to hear your feedback. We can make any alterations that are needed and, uh, hopefully we can get you your army like sooner rather than later. So, um, Let's see, and then here's obviously the bins with the, uh, the models in them. There we go. And uh, I do believe you've seen those, and those are in good shape, but I don't mind uh, giving them a once over. So uh, thank you, thank you very much for being such a great client. Uh, I do apologize for the delay, but in the end, I, when you have your awesome lizard men, it'll, it'll uh, feel, feel amazing. Thank you.